Well, it's winter time and I heat with wood. So I've got a number of wood piles around the, the property, uh, which gives us a chance to look at what wood supports in terms of insect life. So this wood pile is a little bit old. If you take off the bark, look what we find here. So the yellow things are different beetle larvae. We've got a couple different families here. This white one over here, that's a Sarambicid larva, longhorn beetle. We've got pyrocroid larvae here. Uh, there's two or three families of, of uh, beetle larvae that are right underneath the bark. And then of course, inside the wood, oftentimes we have metallic wood boring beetles. So this is a problem for me because I don't want to burn these guys up. So I have to be very careful when I'm taking wood in for the fire and try to knock all of these off so that they can complete their development. I always talk about caterpillars, but there's a number of other types of, of insects that are important components of our ecosystems. And if you provide what they need, in this case, dead wood, you can, uh, you can have them on your property as well. What we're looking at is a Cecropia moth cocoon that has been spun on my back porch. A lot of people think that caterpillar will spin its cocoon or create its chrysalis on the plant in which it developed. So if you find a cocoon on a particular plant, they say, well, they were eating that particular plant. Obviously, the Cecropia moth was not eating my back porch. And it, it demonstrates what a lot of caterpillars do. They will leave their host plant and they'll walk. They'll crawl sometimes for a half an hour, sometimes for an hour. And then they'll they'll spin their cocoon or, or create their chrysalis wherever they end up. So, uh, and what they're trying to do is, is get away from their host plant because that's their natural enemies look for them on the host plant. So they'll walk off and, and uh, hide, get as far away from their host as they can. So finding a cocoon does not tell you what that creature was actually eating. What we're looking at is the mud nest of a mud dauber wasp. Looks like a little pot. And that is how they spend the winter. And it's also how they reproduce during the summer. The probably a, a pupa is in there now, and that it will emerge first warm period that we get and start several generations during the summer. They stuff those nests filled with uh, either caterpillars or spiders, depending on the species, and close them off with mud and complete their life cycle. 